<laughs> Imagine capturing an actor's genuine fear, an unscripted stunt, or a natural performance that takes the audience by surprise. Hey, lay your palms flat on that tabletop. If you lift those palms off These authentic moments can touch our hearts in ways that scripted scenes often can't. Consider Rick Sylvester's heart-stopping ski jump in The Spy Who Loved Me, Susan Backlinney's real fear in Jaws, or Marlon Brando's unscripted stray cat in The Godfather. Each of these instances showcases actors reacting in the moment, making their performances unforgettable. Join us as we explore 20 extraordinary scenes where actors weren't just acting. Number 20, The Spy Who Loved Me, James Bond Ski Jump Scene. Ever wondered which iconic scenes were entirely unscripted? Let's explore the fascinating truths behind these cinematic masterpieces. Have you ever imagined what it's like to leap off a mountain armed only with a parachute and nerves of steel? The ski jump scene from The Spy Who Loved Me offers a taste of that exhilarating thrill. This unforgettable moment stands out as a highlight of the James Bond franchise, perfectly encapsulating the blend of sophistication and danger that defines 007's escapades. In this heart-pounding scene, James Bond, portrayed by Roger Moore, finds himself in the midst of a high-stakes ski chase, skillfully navigating snowy slopes with a combination of speed and elegance. The true spectacle occurs when Bond makes a daring ski jump off a cliff, leading to a breathtaking parachute descent. The man behind this jaw-dropping stunt is Rick Sylvester, an experienced stuntman who effortlessly executed what seemed impossible. Perched on the edge of a snow-covered mountain, Sylvester prepared for a leap that would leave audiences on the edge of their seats. Unlike typical movie magic, this stunt was entirely genuine. With the guidance of a parachute expert, Sylvester took a leap of faith that showcased his bravery and precision. As he soared through the air, relying solely on his parachute for a safe landing, the film crew held their breath, acutely aware that there was no room for error or second chances. Number 19. Jaws. Susan Backlinney's Genuine Terror. If you've ever pondered what it takes to craft a genuinely terrifying movie scene, look no further than the iconic shark attack in Jaws. In this unforgettable moment from the 1975 thriller Susan Backlinney, who played Chrissy Watkins, delivered a performance that was strikingly authentic because it stemmed from genuine fear. The scene in which Chrissy meets her tragic end was meticulously designed to shock and frighten audiences. To heighten the tension, Backlinney was kept unaware of exactly when the mechanical rig, simulating the shark's grip, would pull her underwater. Imagine floating in the ocean, completely oblivious to when you'll be yanked into the depths. This suspense and uncertainty added layers of authenticity to her performance, capturing the raw panic of someone truly engaged in a life-or-death struggle. <sighs> Director Steven Spielberg's choice to employ this technique proved immensely effective. The real terror reflected in Backlinney's face, combined with the chaotic movement of the rig, created a scene that felt hauntingly real. The fear in her eyes was not mere acting, it was a visceral response to the situation. This level of realism is part of what made Jaws such a groundbreaking film in the horror genre. It didn't just scare viewers, it transformed their perception of the ocean into a world of primal fear and suspense. Number 18, The Godfather, Marlon Brando and the Unscripted Cat. Marlon Brando's portrayal as Vito Corleone in The Godfather is iconic. This 1972 classic depicts a rough New York crime family in the mid-1940s. What if I told you that the film's most memorable moment was unscripted? Yes, the stray cat unexpectedly appeared in the memorable opening shot. Brando's Vito Corleone cradles a stray kitten he found on set while running his criminal empire at his desk. This unplanned addition was more than a cute prop. 
Corleone discusses family concerns while navigating power and influence in a dark and dramatic scene. The happy kitten purring in Brando's lap stands out in this solemn setting. It discreetly emphasizes Corleone's dual nature as a benevolent dad and dreaded crime leader. The cat's calmness contrasts with Brando's sternness, highlighting Corleone's unpredictable power and sensitivity. Brando's use of the cat was brilliant demonstrating his improvisational skills and increasing the character's mystique. This moment reminds us that unscripted, real-life components provide authenticity to some of the most riveting film moments, The Godfather Part 2, Part 3, and Mario Puzo's The Godfather Coda. The death of Michael Corleone followed the success of The Godfather. The cat didn't return in the sequels, perhaps due to Vito Corleone's absence, but this unplanned scene's effect endures. Number 17. Back to the Future Part 3. Michael J. Fox's Near Hang Scene Imagine being so absorbed in a film that you think a scene is the height of dramatic acting, only to discover it's a real risk. This happened in Back to the Future Part 3. In this famous time travel story, Michael J. Fox's Marty McFly appears in a tense hanging scene that turns dangerous owing to rigging. Fox was unexpectedly choked by the scene's rope during production. What was supposed to be a dramatic moment turned into an emergency. Fox, who was supposed to struggle, gasped for breath. Fox's acting skills were originally praised, but the team panicked and came to his rescue when they realized the situation was severe. This tragedy highlighted the risks of cinematic stunts and spurred a major set safety review. The terrifying moment was kept in the final cut, showing how far performers go for authenticity. Fox's real dread and struggle gave the film an unexpected intensity, making it a cinematic cautionary tale. If that was a crazy voyage, wait till you hear about Sigourney Weaver's amazing basketball shot in Alien Resurrection, a story of raw skill and true talent that adds another fascinating element to our examination of reality combining with film magic. Number 16. Alien Resurrection – Sigourney Weaver's Basketball Shot Sigourney Weaver's basketball shot in Alien Resurrection was one of cinema's greatest. She masters a near-impossible behind-the-back shot in this moment, demonstrating her expertise and determination. Uh. Weaver, recognized for her dedication, trained hard to achieve this difficult task. Her basket from six feet beyond the three-point line was stunning when the cameras started filming. Her faultless performance astonished the cast and staff. Their film reactions show their amazement and awe for Weaver's athleticism. This moment showcased her court skills and blurred the barriers between actor and character, demonstrating the ability to achieve the impossible and human potential and tenacity. Weaver's shot inspired and awed cinema historians. A genuine tribute follows on from meaningful and memorable moments. Number 15. Inglorious Bastards, Diane Kruger's Strangulation. The scene when Christoph Waltz's Hans Landa strangles Diane Kruger's Bridget von Hammersmark is one of Quentin Tarantino's most emotional and riveting in Inglorious Bastards. This crucial moment is a highlight of Tarantino's masterwork, establishing its suspense and stakes. Tarantino's risky attempt at extreme realism makes this moment intriguing. The director had Kruger briefly strangled to show her panic and struggle. This was properly regulated with safety precautions, but it raised ethical questions about pushing actors to such extremes for authenticity. What's that American expression? If the shoe fits, you must wear it. <laughs> Preparing for this intense experience allowed Kruger to portray true, unadulterated anxiety adding depth to the scenario. Kruger's genuine reactions and Waltz's character's stress make the sequence feel real. Kruger's fearful eyes and the moment's viscerality make it unforgettable and thought-provoking. The delicate line between artistic expression and actor physical and emotional safety is explored. This scene shows how cinematic realism can blur the lines between film and reality, reminding us that filmmakers and actors will do anything to create unforgettable moments on screen, even if it means risking controversy and danger. Number 14. Terminator 2. Judgment Day. Helicopter Under the Bridge. Terminator 2. Judgment. One of the most thrilling scenes is the helicopter pursuit. 
as a chopper dangerously swoops under a bridge. The stunt performers in this scenario are incredibly skilled and gutsy. The helicopter pilot does a stunning maneuver by flying under a bridge, requiring precision and steel nerves. This stunt was performed live, creating a sense of danger and thrill that is hard to imitate digitally. A chopper hovering inches above the lake and beneath the bridge is exhilarating and puts onlookers on edge. The pilot's real danger emphasizes the stakes of reality. This dangerous action heightens the film's suspense and shows how far producers and stuntmen will go to generate outstanding films. This sight inspires amazement and admiration for the abilities and fortitude needed to complete such a risky task. This scene shows the artistry and bravery that go into making action film sequences memorable. It shows that real-life stunts still thrill spectators and set the benchmark for high-octane movies in an age of digital effects. Number 13. The 40-Year-Old Virgin Steve Carell's honest response during his chest-waxing scene in The 40-Year-Old Virgin is unforgettable and amusing. In keeping with his commitment to authenticity, Carell underwent a painful waxing treatment, resulting in real yells and exclamations that added to the scene's hilarity. Ooh. It looks man-tastic. Carell chose a true waxing process to get the most genuine response. The tremendous anguish of waxing prompted his unexpected cries, including Kelly Clarkson. Audiences laugh and relate to this scene's genuine pain and humorous timing. Carell enduring the waxing adds authenticity and enhances the comedy, making it a highlight moment. Carell's ability to tolerate discomfort for comedy boosts the humor and connects with viewers. He makes a funny scene one of the film's best by acting it honestly. Real-life grief and comedy show how a sincere performance can make a scenario amusing and relevant. This moment shows how far performers will go to bring their characters' experiences to life, proving that authentic, uncensored reactions make the best comedy. It shows Carell's passion and ability to make real agony funny. Number 12. The Usual Suspects, The Lineup Scene Have you ever watched a scene go from serious to funny? In The Usual Suspects lineup sequence, that happened. The scene was created to show the suspects in a tense and plain manner to convey the importance of the event. Each character was supposed to speak seriously to reflect the high stakes of their interrogation. When your number is called, step forward and repeat the phrase you've been given. Understand? One actor broke character in a charming way during filming. Unscripted humor surprised everyone, making the cast giggle. Brian Singer boldly included this spontaneous humor in the final cut because of its brilliance. A dramatic scene became memorable. The result? A compelling mix of seriousness and playfulness that moved audiences. The lineup scene was renowned for its dramatic impact and the real-life reactions during filming. Instead of rehearsing, the performers laughed naturally, making them more relatable. An unexpected twist made an unremarkable moment memorable in cinema. Number 11. Django Unchained, Leonardo DiCaprio's Real Injury Scene Leonardo DiCaprio played Calvin Candy in Quentin Tarantino's Django Unchained, a terrible character that required talent and dedication. Due to its brutal story and daring historical style, Tarantino's 2012 picture stood out. Broomhilde here is my property. However, a real-life set incident enhanced DiCaprio's performance. Candy, played by DiCaprio, has a heated dinner argument in one of the film's most emotional scenes. Tension and seething emotions fill the room. DiCaprio, absorbed in his performance, smacks his hand on the table, shattering a glass during a passionate scene. A broken glass edge cuts his palm, causing blood to gush. An unanticipated disaster intensified the scene. Hey, lay your palm flat on that tabletop. If you lift those palms off DiCaprio's injury response was remarkable. He continued despite the discomfort, incorporating the injury into his performance. Blood and pain made the scenario more raw and visceral. This genuineness showed DiCaprio's passion for his art and elevated the moment above contrived drama. Blood on his palm was real and added to the scene's tension and reality. Due to DiCaprio's intensity and this unscripted occurrence, spectators saw his character's violence. This real-life accident showed how far actors will go to play their characters. 
The aftermath highlighted DiCaprio's passion and acting's unpredictability, sparking industry attention. His ability to merge fact and fiction created a lasting imprint on the film, demonstrating the drive to make memorable cinema. Number 10. The Wolf of Wall Street – Head Shave Scene Martin Scorsese's The Wolf of Wall Street depicts stockbroker Jordan Belfort's hedonistic lifestyle with spectacular antics and relentless intensity. I really like one scene for its chutzpah and unvarnished realism. An unexpected event occurs in the film's iconic office party scene with a completely nude marching band, a woman shaving her head. This moment is amazing because it was a true spontaneous act captured on film, not a special effect or filmmaking oddity. The woman is Natasha Newman, a talented hairstylist and close friend of Leonardo DiCaprio, who plays Belfort. Newman didn't shave her head for a dramatic impact. Instead, it was a bold, voluntary act that lent realism and spontaneity to a lavish setting. This real-life gesture astonished the producers and added reality. This daring showed the film's sincerity and fearlessness. Scorsese's art pushes limits, and Newman's head shave shows how the actors and crew did too. From written fantasy to real-life daring, the film seamlessly blends cinematic splendor with human experience. Viewers see a strange mix of fact and fiction as Newman's skull is shaved. In conclusion, this moment from The Wolf of Wall Street shows how real-life spontaneity can enhance cinematic storytelling, urging audiences to applaud the bold choices that make the film distinctive. Number 9. Home Alone – Macaulay Culkin's Finger Bite Home Alone is a beloved holiday classic filled with unforgettable moments. One particularly intense scene features the villain, Harry, threatening to bite Kevin's fingers. Here's an interesting twist that adds a layer of realism. Joe Pesci actually bit Macaulay Culkin's finger during filming. This wasn't scripted or planned, it happened by accident. Culkin has even mentioned that he still has a scar from the incident, as Pesci's bite was strong enough to break the skin. <laughs> I broke the skin and everything. I'm a little nine-year-old boy and he's going around biting him. While this unexpected mishap might seem like a painful setback, it infused the scene with genuine tension. It serves as a reminder of how real-life events can enhance a film's narrative, making the on-screen action feel even more intense. Pesci's unintentional bite transformed a simple moment into one with lasting significance, blending reality with movie magic and making Home Alone all the more endearing. Number 8. Pretty Woman – The Jewelry Box Surprise Scene The Jewelry Box Surprise Sequence in Pretty Woman is one of the most famous romantic comedy scenes and shows how real-life spontaneity can enrich a film. Pretty Woman, a 1990 Gary Marshall film, stars Julia Roberts in a career-defining role. Roberts plays kind-hearted Hollywood, Vivian Ward who charms and warms the audience despite her odd job. Rich businessman Edward Lewis, played by Richard Gere, hires Vivian as his companion for a week. A transactional agreement becomes a deep relationship that captivates the protagonists and spectators. This moment is significant because Gear spontaneously decided to do it. Julia Roberts' unexpected delight at the surprise was brilliantly filmed. Gary Marshall's genuineness was evident in Gear and Roberts' honest conversation. Marshall, famed for melding humor and heart, kept this unscripted moment in the final cut. This decision elevated a simple sequence to the film's best. Roberts and Gear's genuine laughter and playful activity made them relatable and charming to audiences worldwide. Roberts, 23, was young and exuberant, adding richness to this scene. Roberts often arrived on set fatigued from partying the night before, so Marshall joked with Gear, you gotta wake her up a little so when she reaches for the box, slam it. Number 7. Ryan Reynolds in X-Men Origins Comic book fans were disappointed by the portrayal of Deadpool in the poorly received X-Men Origins, Wolverine. No one was more dissatisfied with this version than Ryan Reynolds himself. The iconic character, known for his sharp wit and relentless quips, had his mouth shut by the end of the film, leaving him unable to speak. Reynolds, frustrated by this portrayal, even cautioned an executive producer that the fans would hate it, a prediction that proved accurate as the depiction was widely criticized for straying from what made Deadpool so beloved. 
stuck in an elevator with five guys on a high protein diet. Oh, wait. Dreams really do come true. So just shut it. Determined to rectify this misrepresentation, Reynolds tirelessly advocated for a faithful adaptation of the character. His efforts culminated in 2016 with the release of Deadpool, which was met with critical acclaim and loved by fans, capturing the character's humor and signature fourth wall breaking style. In a clever move, Reynolds also poked fun at the 2009 version of Deadpool in both Deadpool and Deadpool 2 demonstrating his dedication to honoring the character's true essence. Number 6. Mark Hamill in The Empire Strikes Back While the Wampa Beast may seem terrifying, there's at least one person who feels sympathy for it. Mark Hamill. Nearly 40 years after The Empire Strikes Back premiered, Hamill took to Twitter to share his regret over a scene where Luke Skywalker defends himself against a Wampa. He revealed that he was initially told his lightsaber would scare off the hungry creature, so he was surprised when the final cut showed Luke actually severing the Wampa's arm. <laughs> Hamill believed this portrayal was too brutal for Luke, who is more compassionate by nature. Although some fans disagreed, he stood by his conviction that the scene was excessively violent. His empathy for the Wampa's injury may stem from the fact that later in the film, Luke himself loses a limb in battle. Number 5. Uma Thurman in Kill Bill, Volume 2 The filming of Kill Bill, Volume 2 took a troubling turn when Uma Thurman was involved in a serious incident. In one scene, her character, Beatrix Kiddo, drives fast down a winding road, but what seemed like a straightforward stunt quickly became a frightening experience. In a 2018 interview with the New York Times, Thurman revealed that she had been pressured to drive despite her strong concerns about the car's safety. Thurman believed the vehicle was not in good condition for a high-speed scene and felt particularly anxious since she wasn't supposed to perform stunts that day. I express myself. Despite her apprehensions, she was persuaded to go ahead. Tragically, her fears were realized when she lost control of the car, resulting in a crash that caused her long-lasting injuries. The accident was initially kept under wraps, but years later, footage from the stunt and details of the incident were finally revealed. Number 4. Hugh Jackman in Movie 43 It seems that nearly everyone associated with Movie 43 wishes they had opted out. This bizarre anthology comedy, infamous for its crude and often offensive sketches, boasted a star-studded cast, including Halle Berry, Richard Gere, and Emma Stone. Despite the high-profile lineup, the film was met with universal criticism, with many calling it one of the worst movies ever made. Among those who regretted their involvement was Hugh Jackman. In his sketch, Jackman played a character named Davis, who has grotesque and unsettling growth hanging from his neck. What was intended as dark humor ultimately fell flat, failing to impress both audiences and critics. Jackman later reflected on his choice to participate, humorously stating in an interview that if he could go back in time, he would advise his younger self to avoid movie 43 altogether. Number 3. Kurt Russell in The Hateful Eight in Quentin Tarantino's The Hateful Eight, the tension between Kurt Russell's character Hangman and Jennifer Jason Lee's character Daisy is palpable. In one notable scene, Hangman smashes a guitar in a fit of rage to express his disdain for Daisy. However, what was intended to be the destruction of a prop turned into a significant mishap when Russell accidentally shattered a priceless antique during filming. You don't want to be the reason it's no good the second time, so... Lee was holding a genuine 1870s Martin guitar, borrowed from the Martin Guitar Museum. Unaware of its historical significance, Russell smashed it as the script instructed. The shocked expression on Lee's face was genuine, reflecting the audience's disbelief when the truth came to light. Russell was heartbroken to discover he had destroyed an irreplaceable artifact. Following the incident, the Martin Guitar Museum announced they would no longer lend instruments for film productions. Number 2. Jennifer Lawrence in Passengers Romantic scenes often seem enchanting on screen, but the reality for actors can be quite different. Jennifer Lawrence encountered this during the filming of Passengers, a 2016 sci-fi film where she starred alongside Chris Pratt. Lawrence had significant reservations about an intimate scene with Pratt, 
particularly because he was married at the time. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Lawrence discussed her feelings of guilt regarding the scene. She worried about how it might impact Pratt's personal life and grappled with how genuine the moment should feel. Anyway, there's no secrets between me and Jim. To ease her anxiety, she admitted to having a drink beforehand. However, the technical demands of filming, like camera angles, lighting, and choreography, only added to the awkwardness. In a conversation with USA Today, Lawrence and Pratt explained that the process was uncomfortable and far removed from the romantic moment portrayed in the final cut. Despite their professionalism, both actors struggled to shake off the unease of filming such an intimate sequence. Number 1. Dakota Johnson in the Fifty Shades franchise Contrary to popular belief, Dakota Johnson's discomfort with the Fifty Shades trilogy stemmed not from its provocative scenes, but from the creative disagreements she encountered during production. While the franchise gained a reputation for its steamy content, Johnson was fully ready to embrace those scandalous elements. Her true struggle arose behind the camera. Johnson frequently found herself at odds with Fifty Shades author E. L. James, who maintained considerable control over the film adaptations. Um, this one, we because we had obviously experienced particularly regarding the script. Johnson noted that James often insisted on including scenes that worked well in the novels, but didn't translate effectively to film. These creative conflicts resulted in several awkward and uncomfortable moments during filming, leaving both audiences and Johnson herself cringing at the final product. We are coming to an end here today. Thanks for watching. And for such top listing videos, subscribe to our channel.